सम अप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन टेन्थ क्लास द टेन्थ प्रॉब्लम इज हेज फॉलोस टू पोल्स ऑफ ईक्वल आइट्स आर स्टैंडिंग अपोजिट ईच अदर ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द रोड विच इज एट मीटर वाइड फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट बिटवीन दैम ऑन द रोड द एंगल्स ऑफ एलिवेशन of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree respectively find the heights of the poles and the distances of the point from the poles first of all let us write two poles two poles of equal heights yes there are two poles of equal heights on either side of the road which is 80 meter wide is right so let me write a road yes right and uh, there are two poles on either side of the road of equal heights yes right these two poles are of equal heights let me take this as h be let be the height of this pole and uh, as already told all two poles are of equal height so both are of same height and the width of this road is 80 meter and from a point between them on the road from a point yes right we can take any point is right let me choose this as a point here yes so the angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree uh, let me take for this pole the elevation is 60 degree yes right top of the pole and for this pole the elevation is 30 degree that's right respectively find the heights of the poles what we have to find means we have to find the height of the poles uh, the both the heights are similar yes you both the same not, only, not similar it is same both are of equal heights as per the problem and the distance of the point from the poles so i have to find the distance between this pole to this point let me take this as x yes let this be x and from this pole to the this pole what will be the distance means if as it is a x from here to here it is 8 me 80 meter so 80 minus x meter will be the length of this the point to this pole so let me name them as let this be a b a b be the first pole and this point b c and this one be d and this be b this one is the first pole pole 1 pole 2 is right whatever it is not necessary it is not necessary this one for our reference yes right so what we have to calculate here is we know that the distance between the poles is 80 meter that's right 80 meter so how to calculate this one first of all let me take abc triangle abc triangle in triangle abc that's right here 90 degrees the pole here too it is 90 degree so i will be taking the tan theta tan theta as you are all familiar opposite by adjacent so what is there here opposite opposite side is ab so what is the theta here theta is 30 degree tan 30 degree is equal to what is opposite ab by bc ab by bc as tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3 which is equals to ab is height of the pole height and uh, bc is 80 minus x meter 80 minus x meter so what we can write here is h uh, 80 minus x by root 3 upon cross multiplication is equal to h so this one is the 
meter 80 minus x meter by root 3 is equal to h let me take this as the first state equation that's right now let me move on to the second triangle in triangle edc e d c the same functions that is tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent so what happens here theta is 60 degree tan 60 degree is equal to opposite is once again height e d is the opposite e d by c d so what is e d here e d is h and what is c d c d is x tan 60 degree is root 3 root 3 is equal to h by x so what happens here x root 3 is equal to h this equation let me call it as equation 2 now substituting equation 2 in 1 we get we get you see right now 80 minus x by root 3 is equal to h is equal to h is there here is equal to h is there here so what happens here h is equal to x root 3 so we can write instead of h we are writing x root 3 so now we will make a cross multiplication 80 minus x is equal to x root 3 into root 3 so what happens 80 minus x is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3x so let us move on this x to the row rhs 80 is equal to 3x plus x so 80 is equal to 4x so 80 by 4 is equal to x which is equals to 20 so x is equal to therefore what is x cd cd is equal to x is equal to 20 meter so what we have to calculate here in the next point is the distance between the first pole and the point c so it is equals to bc bc is equal to 80 minus x so what is 80 yes 80 is 80 but uh, x is 20 so which is equals to 80 minus 20 is equal to 60 meter this completes this problem now let us calculate the height of the pole height of the pole is given by h is equal to x root 3 so h is equal to what is x here x is 20 meter that's right x is equal to 20 meter into root 3 so height is equal to 20 root 3 meter is the height of the poles as both the poles are of equal length this completes this problem 11th problem a tv tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal it is standing on a bank of a canal. Yes, right? TV tower. Let us here in this picture AB. From a point on the other bank, directly opposite the tower, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 60 degree from this point. Yes, right? It is. So we can take here the canal is. The water is there. Water is there or something. Or it is empty. Whatever it is. The, this is another end of the canal and this is one end of the canal one bank this is another one bank from here the angle of elevation is 60 degree from another point 20 meter away from this point from this point there is another point which is away 20 meters away from this point on the line joining this point it is on the same line yes right to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree. The angle of elevation of this tower is 30 degree. Find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. 
we have to find the tower height height is equal to question mark and the width we have to calculate the width of this canal is right so it is very easy as in the previous problems we can solve it uh, using the tan function first of all let me take a b d triangle in triangle a b d here to tan theta i will be going to use tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent so here theta is 30 degree tan 30 degree is equal to what is opposite opposite is a b a b by adjacent is b d tan 30 degree you know that is 1 by root 3 is equal to here a b is h and b d is let me write b d itself is right so upon cross multiplication you will be going to get b d is equal to h into root 3 if not h into root 3 that's right we can use it further let me now move on to the next triangle that is a b c in triangle a b c let us take the same tan function tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent so here theta is 60 degree tan 60 degree is equal to opposite is a b a b is equal to h yes right a b and here the width of the canal that is b c so tan 60 degree is equal to root 3 is equal to h by b c so what happens here b c is equal to h by root 3 upon cross multiplication let us take this as 2 now Now, the adjacent side BD is equal to BD is equal to BD is equal to DC plus CB. DC plus CB. So, what is BD, DC means here? DC is equal to 20 meter plus what is CB? CB is equal to we have calculated here. CB is BC. CB is BC is equal to H by root 3. Now we will substitute for BD2. BD is H root 3 is equal to 20 meter plus H by root 3. Now let me move on this H by root 3 to the left hand side. H root 3 minus h by root 3 is equal to 20 meter is right so upon taking the lcm we will be getting root 3 so we have to multiply the denominator with root 3 and here also with root 3 here with 1 and this one with h with 1 so h into root 3 root 3 minus h is equal to 20 meter so what happens here root 3 into root 3 is 3 h minus h by root 3 is equal to 20 meter so we can write here 2 h by root 3 is equal to 20 meter so upon cross multiplication h is equal to 20 meter into root 3 by 2 so 2 ones are 2 tens are. so what is your answer here height h root 3 meter h is equal to 10 root 3 meter 10 root 3 meter is the height of the tower then what else we have to calculate that is the width of the canal the width of the canal is CB. What is CB here? CB is equal to BC is equal to H by root 3. So we have already calculated H. H is equal to 10 root 3 meter by root 3. 
So root 3 root 3 cancels. CB is equal to 10 meter is the width of the canal of the canal. This completes this problem.